I don't know what this is for. <laughs> EKSA introduces their new AirJoy Pro headphones. Weighing in at only 160 grams, the AirJoy Pro offers enthusiast-grade 7.1 digital surround sound while providing maximum comfort at a fraction of the cost of a major brand name series. For more information, visit EKSA.net. This, for those of you not in the know, is a Jigstaw. Jigstaw. So, uh, while we're waiting the paint for the paint to dry, I have decided to forego the use of the angle grinder um, and uh, not to, yeah, not to completely ruin the polycarbonate. And I'm also not going to be using the Dremel. So we have this. Uh, this is this is this is our newest toy. So this has a little light on it, and it's got a laser sight. So I'm going to turn the. There we go. So what this does is it'll make a nice little line where, where I'm cutting. And what this does is it allows you to know when you're, you know, making a nice design instead of going in a straight line because everybody knows going in a straight line on uh, with a jigsaw is fucking impossible. So, yes. So we're going we're gonna to cut this window here. And after that, what we're going to do is we're going to rivet rivet it into the door panel instead of gluing it this time i'm gonna see how it works um since polycarbonate doesn't shatter or crack i think it'll do a whole lot better than the plexiglass and if that works then i'm going to be using this from now on it's not in there okay this thing is really freaking beefy so weight. I hope this will work. Okay. This thing is really f***ing beefy. So, here. This is dangerous. How is it dangerous? The way we have this set up. Yeah. Well, I totally nerked that. <laughs> I can't even use that. The obvious answer is to move this a little bit to this. And I'm glad I, uh, I'm glad I did that. Oh, wait, you could just rotate it, right? Is that what you're going to do? That's a really good idea. I didn't even think of that. Good thinking. Yes, that's exactly what I'm going to do. If I get off course, then I get off course and I'll, I'll start here and then Why couldn't I have done that in the first place? <sighs> yeah, it's it's certainly better than it would have been. 
Oh well. Yes, it's certainly better than it would have been and now I can... I'll have to use a Dremel for this part. Okay, now that we've got all this done, this is going to... It's nice and clean, I like that. So, this will go into the side door panel when it's ready to go. Uh, now we just need to finish painting and start putting it back together. Alright, so this is where things get yucky. What I have here, this is, um, it's stone spray paint. And this stuff you really, really gotta shake. So otherwise it comes out goopy and that's bad. So, this stuff, it basically, it comes out nice and gritty. And this is gonna, it really, like, I, I have two colors here and it really doesn't matter because it's gonna be desert tan on top. Um, it's gonna have a really, really nice finish. My thing is though, then I'm gonna have to be careful with how thick I lay on the tan because it's interior paint, which means it's really, really thick. So I'll probably have to dilute it a little bit or at least use very, very sparingly, sparing strokes. So this is not gonna take very long and you don't need to be very thorough about it. You don't like, I could probably just and it would be fine. Um, I don't know why it took me this long to get it but with cutting out windows and stuff, usually what I do is I just tape over the whole fucking opening. I didn't do that this time, and I don't know why I didn't think about it before. I just put the thing back where it was and taped over it. So now we've got plenty of coverage and won't get any of the stuff underneath. I hate this spray head though. This is so hard on my finger. So without any further ado, we start painting. All right, and that's it. Now we gotta wait. I don't think, well, I'm definitely not gonna have to do another color, uh, another coat of this, but uh, now we're gonna have to wait at least an hour and we might actually, cause the light's going, so we might actually just get to it tomorrow. Oh, wait. I'm barely gonna be able to see that. <laughs> So yeah, that's it. We're gonna we're gonna let this sit for a bit and come back to it when it dries. So this next part is a little bit unfamiliar to me in so much as I've never mixed interior paint with spray paint. So instead of giving it an hour, I gave it a full day to cure, and it's nice and tough. Um, I honestly don't I don't think there'll be a problem, but I've never done this before, so this will be interesting. Um, what I've done here is this is the front screen and I've masked every bit of it except for this sort of plastic-like thing. And uh, I think it'll... It doesn't matter. Okay. So what I've done is I've, I've basically masked off this whole thing except for this plastic-looking strip that was part of it. And uh, whatever, I think it'll look cool. And then, as you can see, I've not... I've not stone painted this one and this one I've not stone painted the the bottom the front or the back because you know just it's not gonna it's gonna be impractical because stuff has to go on the back there and you're not gonna see this and you're not gonna see that so on we go okay so we'll start with the screen first because that's just you know, and again, this doesn't need to be super, super pretty. It just needs to, it just needs to happen. Danielle um, made an accident carrying the stuff back inside and she like touched part of this when she was falling over. And uh, it, 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 it looks fine. It actually looks, it, the fact that it looks kind of messy speaks to the trueness of the military aspect that we're going for. So let's start with the front screen first. This is just gonna be really, really thin. I don't think I'm gonna need much at all. This is interesting. I thought it would go on just a tad smoother and I had an idea last night about diluting it, and I think maybe I should have, but it's okay. It'll be okay. 
This is different than... This is different though because instead of spray painting where it all just kind of looks uniform and... Well, uniform. This is kind of not doing that. That's okay though because... The imperfections in the paint will sort of add to the authenticity of what we're going for. I toyed with the idea of not painting this part at all because it just goes on the back of the case and it covers up all the PCI brackets. But I think it's going to I think it'll I think it'll add to it, especially since this is stone painted and the back the uh, the back of the chassis is not. And it kind of looks a little imperfect and I think I'm just going to leave it like they're just going to paint a happy little happy little tan right there. Going to move that over there and bring over this fun plate over here. Just gonna, we're just gonna do a tap, 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 tapping. I'm full of sh We're gonna, we're gonna slather this b This is interesting. It's, it's going on nice. That's good. This is about perfect. As far as the color goes, I couldn't be happier with it. This is pretty much dead on desert tan. This doesn't need to be perfect because this is, this is going, this is just going to be the front of the chassis. You're not going to see it because the top plate's going to be over it. But that's also a reason why I didn't want to stone paint it though, because uh, when you're putting the chassis back together, you need to be, you need to have every piece go back to go back together smoothly and that would definitely get in the way. This is actually drying pretty quickly. One thing that I love about doing what we do, building uh, the computers the way we do, is that whether it's a client build or if it's just something that we're doing, I pretty much have carte blanche over what I'm doing. Like, uh, the guy who is buying this computer, he didn't give me any specs, he just said, go to town. And that's what I like to do, because I don't like being told what to do. One of the reasons why we started doing this in the first place is just because we like building computers. And if I'm being tasked with a certain thing, that's why, you know, like, I, as sponsored builds are something that I would like to do, but I'm going to be very adamant about the parts that I use and the, the style that we go for, because I don't want to be told well, it has to look like this. F*** you, I'm going to do what I want. If I see a computer case... If I look at a computer case, I have to be inspired by it, first of all. And I would rather not... It's like that, like, Project Maverick. Um, there's, like, the, it was an old thermal take case that uh, when I saw it, first of all, I was not the biggest fan of it on the website. But when I, when I finally got my hands on uh, what I had planned to do and what I did do were two very different things because looking at it on the website, I was just like, oh, but it was for a band called Bray Road. And so I had planned on, you know, sort of painting and airbrushing all kinds of, you know, uh, hair and make it look like a werewolf because the band is named after this thing we have, this myth that we have here in Wisconsin called the Bray Road Beast. So I had planned on doing all kinds of hair and making it look all werewolfy and shit, but the second I saw the case, I was like, no fucking way. So it, it ended up being Project Maverick because the case itself looks like the front of a fighter jet. So he let me have that one. And uh, it's, one of my, it's one of my favorite projects. Some would say that I'm wearing the wrong shirt for painting, and I say, f*** you, I like looking good. <laughs> so now that the wood chipper is going, we're just going to have a happy little montage. There, now we wait. <laughs>